What's happening guys, Lee Burkhardt here with Brief Photo and Video, and today we're going to be checking out the Nauticam Ethernet surface cables combined with the Zcam flagship series of cameras and the Nauticam NAE2F underwater housing. Now just for a moment, imagine being able to remotely monitor and control a complete underwater raw cinema capable camera from the surface with only an Ethernet cable and an iPad. Sounds way too good to be true, right? Well it's not. These Nauticam Ethernet cables not only allow remote surface monitoring, but also full control over the Zcam flagship series of cameras from the surface. So to get started, let's first take a look at the equipment that you need to set all this up. You'll of course need one of the Zcam flagship series cameras, along with the Nauticam NAE2F underwater housing. Now if you're unfamiliar with this gear, we created a full length first look and installation guide video that are linked below in the video description, so be sure to check those out. Next you'll need the Nauticam Ethernet surface cable set. These come in two variations, one in a 5 meter length designed for use off of a pole cam, and a second in a 45 meter length that's perfect for studio work using an underwater camera operator and an assistant camera at the surface. You'll also need a tablet or a mobile device for monitoring and controlling the camera. This is done through the Zcam app, which you'll need to download and install on your device. You can find a download link to the Zcam app right off their website, and there's a direct link to that in the video description below. Lastly, you'll need some kind of Ethernet adapter to your mobile device or tablet for a direct connection to the camera. For this video, we're going to be testing this equipment using the Nauticam 5 meter Ethernet cable. So we've also added this Zen underwater pull cam. If you're unfamiliar with these, they're an excellent buy. It features an extendable pole that can be shortened or lengthened depending on your preference, a simple one lock tilting bracket for positioning the camera angle, a handle and ball mount for attaching your surface monitor, and a universal ball mount arm that can be attached to just about any housing that features two ball mounts. Simply attach the pull cam using a pair of clamps and you're done. Now that we've covered all the gear that you need, let's take a closer look at how this all goes together. You'll want to first start by installing the Nauticam Ethernet bulkhead onto any available M16 hole in your Nauticam housing. We found the location along the back here the easiest for cable routing. Simply remove the M16 cap, thread in the Nauticam Ethernet bulkhead, using a wrench to firmly tighten it in place. Plug the ethernet cable into the camera and close up the rear hatch. Next, plug in the five meter or 45 meter Nauticam ethernet cable to the installed bulkhead. Connect the surface side of the ethernet cable to your mobile device or tablet's ethernet adapter. Then power on the camera, press the menu button and navigate to connect, ethernet mode, and then select direct. Lastly, power up your mobile device or tablet and open the Zcam app. Now you're all set. In the field, the Zcam app feeds a live video signal directly to your device and allows full touchscreen control of the camera as you can see here. You can adjust everything from exposure, focus, frame rates, resolution, and many more. Thanks to the relatively compact and lightweight design of the Zcam cameras and Nauticam NAE2F housing, this is a perfect raw cinema capable solution for remote underwater work that can be used in a whole variety of different shooting scenarios. Overall, we're very excited about all the new opportunities this equipment offers for underwater filmmaking, and I hope today's video has been useful for any of you guys considering picking this up from us. Now, if you liked today's video, you'd like to see more content like this from us, or if you're just curious and learning more about underwater imaging, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons found just below the video here. And to check out more of our knowledge base articles or other content, you can visit us at www.refoto.com and just click on the Learn tab along the top of the home page. Well, I think that's going to wrap this one up. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
Stay tuned for more cool videos to come soon, and we'll see you on the next one.